If you're a fan of Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U, you're probably aware of how difficult it is to unlock all the custom moves. There are methods to unlock them that involve, you know, spending money to get a turbo controller or buying a bunch of amiibo and having them farm for you, or even just getting a power saves device, which would allow you to edit your save data. But with the advent of free 3DS homebrew through tube hacks and iron hacks, if you have that, you can now dump your save data and then modify it on your computer for free. An important thing to note when using the save data manager is that you have to select the software to dump the save data for before you can run the program. If you just press A, it'll default to the system settings and it'll cause an error. So you have to cycle through the list with your D-pad. For me, since I was running the cartridge version, Smash Bros was directly to the left of the system settings. It might be different for you, particularly if you're running a download version. But anyway, select Smash Bros and press A. The screen will flash several times and you'll be presented with a glitchy screen with pretty much no idea of what you're supposed to do. On this glitchy screen, press the A button and you'll notice that a couple of pixels will change on it. This means your save data has been successfully dumped to the SD card and you can go ahead and turn off the 3DS. Now the thing is, it'll take a little bit longer than usual to turn off the 3DS, but that's completely normal. You might have to press and hold the power button twice for several seconds at a time, but eventually it'll turn off. On the root of the SD card, you'll find a folder called Save Data Backup, and inside this folder you'll find two different bin files. We are only concerned with the one called System Settings. The Save Data Editor is a Python file. Using this Python file, you can do various things, including extract the moveset data from your save file, which basically means all of your custom builds. You can pull those out of your save data and back them up. You can insert a moveset.bin file into the save data. You can generate a moveset file from one of the JSON files. It comes with two files, which come with the Evo sets with all the slots filled and the Evo sets with to open slots in case you want to experiment with your own custom movesets. Finally, it comes with an option to unlock all the characters and custom moves and even the custom Mii Fighter outfits. If you want to use the Evo sets, you'll have to generate a moveset file from one of the files provided. After this, you can insert the movesets into the save data and also unlock the custom moves for future use. Before you do this, I recommend you back up your save data just in case something goes wrong. Although, I haven't personally had that happen to me. Once you have the new save data file, place it back onto the SD card and put the SD card back into 3DS. You'll want to run the save data manager again. Once you get back to the screen with the glitchy pixels, instead of pressing the A button, you will want to press the B button. Like before, the screen will change very slightly and you'll have to turn off your 3DS again. Now that you have unlocked all the custom moves, you can go into the custom character builder, view the Evo sets if you've added them to your system, and build your own custom sets. Any custom sets you've built on your 3DS can be transferred to your Wii U or any other person's Wii U that wants to use the custom sets. Using one 3DS, you can transfer all the custom builds to any number of Wii U's, meaning you can quickly and more easily set up a custom move tournament or simply use them to have fun.